Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with my Mini Madness update. I am doing this with the Pantastic Ladies. I will link everybody doing it down below along with the Facebook group. I do want to mention that if you join the group, they have like three questions that you need to answer before they accept you. You do need to answer those. They are super easy questions. Just basically just to make sure that you're not a spam bot or anything like that. So. If you join because you want to get more into the Project Painting community and they're very supportive and very awesome ladies there, don't get me wrong. You no, Don't get me wrong, that makes it sound bad. Duh. Just make sure to answer the questions. I did want to, you know, throw that in here as well. But uh, on to the project. Uh, I did finish four products in the past since I have last updated. I say I had to adjust that because one thing I finished on May 3rd, which is normally when this updates, but you know. I had stuff that needed to go up. So, uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, what I finished. I did finish the Algenist uh, Eye Renewal Balm. I don't know why I'm showing you this. It's all white on white on white. But uh, it is done. I finished that a lot faster than I thought I was going to. Like, I thought this was going to be in here for three or four months. But either this was a little more shallow than I initially thought. Or I had used up more than I initially thought. But this didn't take me long at all. The next thing that I finished up is finally the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. I was right here last time and I did manage to finish all of that up. There's nothing but air in there now. So that is finally a pr eye primer out of my collection. I have more eye primers than I need, which you really only need one or maybe two if you want to have a drugstore and a high end option. If you're, you know, a YouTuber who likes to have those kinds of things, but really you don't need more than two, period. <laughs> Whew, anyways, uh, next, this one was a little surprising. This is the Sumida Eyeliner in Jamun, and I did get it really down there, but it actually, like, came out by accident, so... Not that I think I was going to be able to get another sharpen out of this, but there was still, like, a use or two when the little... nub popped out, but it's done. Uh, if you want some progress, here it is right here beside my finger. So, as you see, I really did get a lot of progress in the past month. And finally, finally, I finished the Estee Edit Lip Gloss. Last month I was here, so I did wear it a crap ton this past month, but uh, there was a tiny bit left in here. I cannot get it out no matter what I do. Like, I have a little, not only does the, you know, doe foot not reach the bottom, I have this little swoop wand that I bought from Sephora with the intent of using it to get like the last little bits of product out of you know, lip gloss tubes, it, I don't know if like the, cons the consistency of the gloss will not stay on the swoop wand for me to get it out of the thing. And I'm like, this is worth $2.50. It is a product that I can no longer buy because the whole Estee Edit brand went belly up. So uh, why am I trying this hard? This, just this damn determined to try and get this last little bit of gloss out of here. I'm done. I don't even like this gloss as much as I thought I did. It's much thicker than I initially remembered it being, so yeah, I'm just, I'm done. We're done. I'm not fighting with that thing anymore. Anyways, this allows me to work on the other lip gloss that has been in here since the beginning a little bit more. This is the Buxom Lip Gloss in Dolly. I actually did get some good progress on it, which I am wearing it now on top of this bright ass lip. But uh, last month it was here. And now it is down to here. I don't know why this is taking me so long to use up. I think it was because I had two lip glosses in here. And I mean, despite this being like a super pink gloss, I can wear this over basically anything as long as I sheer it out a little bit more. I mean, there's still color to it, but you know, it doesn't change the color of other lips that much. This showing just how much it really doesn't, so. I think I'm just gonna start wearing this with basically every lip color I wear and seeing if I can get like some really hard progress on it next month because I'm ready for this to be done. I like Buxom lip glosses, don't get me wrong. I would totally repurchase this again because I have owned a full size in the past and used it all up. I'm just tired of looking at that one. <laughs> Anyways, next is something that I have not used in the past month because I am working on a shadow stick in another project that I'm really almost done with. So this is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Au Naturel. It is exactly where it was last month because I have literally not used it once. 
I'll give you a swatch just so you can see it. It is like a nice shade, and this is a really good formula, so I'm not mad at having it around. These do come loose from the bottom, like this one in particular is also loose, but here is the shade right here. I like that it's matte because you can wear it with both a matte or a shimmery look, which normally I really like my shimmery bases, but th that is something that is good to have. Uh, I, ha I still have another eyeliner in here. This is the Sephora eyeliner in the flirting game. That's what I'm wearing on my lower lash line today, actually. So this has started to get some progress now. So maybe I could finish this one up in the next month because I am being more cognizant about, okay, because I want to use these little eyeliners up, I need to remember to wear eyeliner on my lower lash line. But uh, here it is right here. So I have gotten a little bit more progress than I had the first month behind my finger right here. But uh, hopefully, hopefully next month I will, if not finish it, at least having another good chunk of progress done, which that, that would make me happy right there. Next is something that if I waited like another two days, I would probably have finished it because it's all a mess right now. This is the Becca Liquid Illuminator in Moonstone. I was so ready to have this in here for like, you know, three or four months, but I've been flying through it. <laughs> it's because I put it in my foundation every day because I have to film this so I have it over here. Like the Estee Lauder, it's not that it's too matte for me. I like things that are matte, but it's a little too high coverage for me. And this helps thin it out and give it a little bit of a glow, which is nice, except for like the dead, nasty ass days of summer. But uh, like, it looks ridiculous. Cause I did pull out the stopper too. So that helps me use more product as well. Like actually not get frustrated at trying to dig out product and get the amount that I want. Last month I was here, now I am all the way down to here, but like it looks like I have more right there, but if you look there, that is like more of the correct way. I've been sticking my swoop wand into this too, because the foot doesn't go all the way down. I hate that in packaging. Like I'm sure there's a reason for that, like how in a bag of chips there's a reason that it's like a third, a half of air is to keep it fresh. I'm sure there is some similar type of reason why doe foots don't go all the, way, like, all the way down in little tubes like this, but it is infuriating because you can't get all the product. Hmm. Okay, next is a lipstick. This is the Marc Jacobs, what are these called exactly? The Lamarck lipsticks and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I love this lipstick. And just not even really trying, I used up a crap ton of it this month. Like this probably only has about another month to it. This by my finger, once again, is the progress on it. Like, it's not quite half, but it's almost half. So don't be surprised if that one's done, unless I just completely stop using it or something, which I don't think I will, especially since I want to use this up. And this goes really well with that. Next is this Origin, not Origins, that's the next thing else. I'm sorry. Next is the Bare Minerals uh, Lip Balm. Can't quite remember what these are called. Pop of Passion. Mine's in Plumberry Pop. I did not work that hard on this this past month, honestly. I did break it, so now it's like all weird in here. Like, I keep this in my bathroom, and when I remember to, on days that I'm not wearing makeup, I put this on because... Here, let me swatch it for you. It is like a light bit of... Sorry. A light bit of color right there. I wish they still made these because I really liked them, but they don't anymore and that sucks. Here is my progress. So not a ton. Like if I wore this every day, it would be gone, but I'm not necessarily, I want it gone in like another couple of months at, at the very most, but I'm not necessarily like it needs to be gone now, honestly. All right, so four new products. One thing is what I almost accidentally said a minute ago. This is the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. I'm probably just, I only have minis of eye creams left, so I'm probably just gonna keep throwing them in this project as I finish them. But uh, that is where we're at. I've been using it most of this month, this past month already, because I finished this fairly early into last month. So uh, this will definitely finish by next month. Next is another thing that will honestly finish by next month. This is the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. This did not come with a lot. Like even in the bottle, it don't think, I don't think it came with a lot because I've only been using it like the last three or four days. I'm already like down here. <laughs> 
So this is like a super gimme product. I almost feel bad about putting this in here, even though I am all about putting gimme a couple of gimme products in a project because you need that boost sometimes to be able to finish some things quickly while you work hard on other things that don't go very quickly. But even I'm kind of like, crap, this is like nothing left in this. But I already picked it out. And if I didn't put this in, I would have to try and go find something else. And I, I'll worry about trying to find something else next month. Next is the Shea Terra Organics Rose Hips Black Soap Face Wash. If you saw my Avengers Project pan, this was in that. But I didn't quite finish it. It is... I have to now store it upside down because of issues with the product. It's really thick and this is a really hard bottle so it's really hard to get it out. But uh, we are currently, I had to rip the packaging off so I could see right here. So once again, not a lot of product left but I don't love this so if I don't put it in a project I'm not going to work on it. <laughs> so I have to put it in a project or I'm not going to touch it. There's nothing inherently wrong with it but it's just a matter of they didn't put the product in the right type of packaging so I don't and I don't love it enough to want to fool with it like on my own I don't want to fool with it and lastly this was a very last minute pick because like I said when I was initially going to film this a day or two ago I still had a little bit of product left in this so I had to pick something super last minute this is the Ava NYC get glossed hair serum I use this as a hair oil but uh, as long as I remember to use it, I can probably use this up in a month, but it's getting me to remember to use it. Right now we are right here, I think. So still most of the bottle to go, but we sh I, I don't think that'll be a problem to finish. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.